All right, a little over a year ago, um, can't remember the exact date, but we were on Sermon Audio for a while. Um, I was on Sermon Audio actually, if I remember correctly, I think it was before YouTube, uh, right around that same period when I was getting into YouTube. And uh, we were on there for many years as Bible Believers Fellowship. And uh, we kind of went our separate ways and things. Um, you know, when I got married, my wife and I, we moved away from, you know, Pencil well, Lancaster County initially and then Pennsylvania altogether. And uh, Brother Jesse Dileski and his wife and children, they kind of went and did their own thing too. And, and, you know, the other people that were part of it, everybody just kind of did their, you know, went their own ways and went and joined other groups and whatever else. And, and uh, so that part of Sermon Audio went down. Uh, the Dileskis had it for a little bit, and then they just, you know, said, well, we're just going to let the thing go. And um, there we also used to have KJVBBF.com, and they let that go too. It's fine, you know, times change and whatever. But uh, a brother, a dear brother and Lord friend of the ministry for many years now, um, he said, hey, you know, I think it'd be good to be back on Sermon Audio because, you know, there's a good whatever on there, you know, a good group of people and things, people can find you and whatever else. And, I said, okay, and he said, you know, I'll take care of everything. You don't have to do anything, you know, upload anything or else or whatever. He took care of everything. I would put up videos on YouTube, and he would take them and, and put them as audio and also many times as video. Um, so uh, it went pretty good for a long time, and um, we came out with our video on natural free birthing for Bible believers. And in that video, we discussed the thing about the danger if you're going to have a child at home. If you're an interracial couple, there can be problems with birthing. Backed up by science. I mean, I had a, did a, I think it was Stanford uh, University, um, medical university, and they came out and said, you know, that, you know, like a Polish man, white Polish man, and a Asian woman, like a Filipino or something, there's going to be you know, skeletal differences and things there, and the, the you know, I'm not going to get into all the technical terms, but obviously when the baby's coming out, you have, there could be genetic issues there, make problems and have to have a cesarean section and things like this. So that's all we said, okay? We just simply said, you know, reiterated our beliefs that God's design is for people to marry within their own uh, nationality, their own ethnicity, all right? It eliminates problems and things like this. I mean, we have medical, quote, medical studies saying, yes, there are problems when you have people and whatever. So we brought that thing out, and uh, I get this email from Sermon Audio, and they said, uh, we've received complaints about your study on the free birthing thing. We've received complaints because, you know, you're a racist. And uh, again, to reiterate my stand, um, we're not racist. Racism, if you look up the dictionary definition, is that one race or some races are superior to others and the inferior races should be eliminated. Hitler practiced that well. Okay, I have never taught that. I have never said that there is a superior race. I believe that the Jews are a chosen people, but I don't believe that they are somehow superior to other people and that others should, other non-Jews should be eliminated or something like this. I don't teach that. I never have, nor will I ever teach that. Again, I believe in preserving ethnicity, unique ethnicity, by separation. I don't believe in blending everybody together, right? I'm not a racist. People that believe in integration and mixing and things like that, they're the racists, okay? I mean, if you blend all black people with other races, guess what? A few generations later, you've wiped out pure black people. Okay? So who's really the racist? You see, integrationists are racists. Segregationists are not. But, uh, so, you know, I get this thing. You're a racist. You know, we, we had some comments about your racist video. And I said, okay, as a Christian, I believe that it is my right to be able to face my accusers. They brought an accusation against me. I should be able to face them. And he said, the guy, Bill Noonkesser was his name that I was dealing with. And he said, oh, there were no accusations. We just feel it's inappropriate. So you lied. Again, I have the video to prove it. I've showed, showed the emails and things. And it went back and forth a little bit. 
and uh, they kicked me off of Sermon Audio. And I wasn't really hurt or anything. It wasn't like, you know, oh no, what am I going to do without that? It was just like, you know, a bunch of hypocrites. Now I understand why uh, the Lord got, you know, myself and the brother that was taking care of it, why he got us away from Sermon Audio. I'm going to show you this thing, uh, this ad, this uh, announcement from Sermon Audio. Check this out. Put this up on the screen. We've got an exciting new update to our Amazon Echo development efforts that I wanted to let you know about. As many of you, or as many of you may have heard, there's an exciting new piece of audio technology that is proving itself to be more than a mere novelty. It's called the Echo, and it's basically a smart speaker developed by Amazon.com. The device consists of a 9-inch tall cylinder speaker with a 7-piece microphone array. The Echo is capable of performing a host of functions simply with natural voice interaction. Let me just stop there for a minute. It's called a listening device for the goons, <laughs> to be very blunt. The New World Order people. They want to put these things into your home so that they can spy on you whenever they want to. All right. I remember uh, Ruckman's book, The Mark of the Beast, here. Let me see if I can find it quick. I'll keep talking. Um, find the picture that he has uh, you know the the desire for these people they're control freaks you know again Satan is is omnipresent and um, or excuse me God is omnipresent God is omnipresent erase that last part that's probably gonna be used in a video against me now <laughs> God is omnipresent and Satan wants to imitate that he wants to counterfeit God's omnipresent uh, you know capabilities and so the devil has to do it through computerized you know, means and things like this. But I thought this was pretty good. Three-dimensional television receiving the kiss of 666. And it says, uh, this home is mentally healthy. There's a little medallion there. And a Hugh, United Nations psychiatrist. <laughs> Let me show you that. Quite a blessing here. So, there you go. You can see the thing right there. But see, and you say, well, that's just a joke, you know, Ruckman's weird sense of humor. Yeah, I understand it's a weird sense of humor, but uh, there's a lot of truth in it. They're doing all this stuff now, you know. If you uh, speak against perverts, you're homophobic or what a, transophobic or whatever else. You know, they're trying to control speech. So it will eventually get to a point where they're going to say you're mentally sick and you should have intervention you know go to a re-education camp or something like this you know that's what this Amazon Echo thing is about your cell phone uh, they can listen in through that the NSA can listen through your cell phone there's all kinds of listening devices that these control freaks are trying to get into people's homes and you know they can there's a lot of technologies and things that I'm aware of you know military type of stuff that they can you know listen to you and stuff like this I understand that um, but if they can get you to just make it very easy by putting one of these echo things, stick it into your home, and it just can listen to everything, um, it's even easier for them. So again, why would Christians, you know, and most of these guys are Baptist on the sermon audio thing, uh, why would they not have any more discernment to say, well, let's stay away from this technology stuff like that that's pretty bad, this echo thing. But anyways, let me continue here. It says, uh, we are working hard to integrate sermon audio into the Amazon Echo so that anyone with just their voice can listen to featured sermons, staff picks, the 24-7 radio station, and even the live webcast and newest sermons directly from your church. Now check this out. Here's where it starts to get interesting. As we have been working on this project, we quickly discovered that we need a simpler, more consistent way for a user to be able to sit to set my church to with only their voice for example if a user wanted to set my church to calvary baptist church the device would not know which one of the dozens of churches with the same name you were warning, wanting to select and with the thousands of broadcasters currently on the site we needed a way to accurately select a church using one, only one's voice here we go each broadcaster now has a code id to solve this problem, we now have now assigned a unique five-digit code ID to every broadcaster so that if you are having a hard time finding your church by name, 
You can now specify the five digit number and immediately this current church will be presented. So in the case of the Echo, a user could simply say, set my church to 12345 and it would get it right every time. You can discover any church's code ID in the About tab of any broadcaster homepage and this code works on all apps and platforms. This is just one of the many exciting developments we are busy working on. Look at this. There's an awful lot more to come. Thank you for your continued interest and support. Stephen Lee and he, Proverbs 30 verses 5 through 6. Right, sure. Isn't that interesting? A five digit ID for churches. Hmm. <laughs> Five is the number of death in the Bible. I find that to be very interesting. And there's a whole lot more I could say about the number five. But we're not going to get into all that. But because uh, there is a Bible system of numbers, by the way. Okay, 666, we know about that. The number seven, there are seven spirits of God. If you watch the Revelation studies, three, one, you know, there's a lot of significant numbers. Nine fruit, you know, fruits of the Spirit. Uh, see, um, there's a lot of numbers in the Bible, so I'm not trying to mix witchcraft, occult, numerology with Scripture. They get it from perverting Scripture, the Scripture, you know, God's system of numbers. But I uh, just found that very, very interesting. So, in other words, these church buildings out there, at least the ones going through the sermon audio thing, are now getting yoked up with ID numbers. I mean nothing conspiratorial here I'm sure you know I mean this is not it won't be used in the time of Jacob's trouble it's just going to be right uh, yeah I'd stay away from sermon audio okay and I was contacted by other brethren too by the way that they had also been kicked off of sermon audio it's kind of like they did a purge of, of uh, real Bible believing channels on sermon audio um, I'd be real careful before I listen to anything on sermon audio. So, crazy. Uh, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.